Ross's redemption story. Take one. All right, Ross. Hi, I'm Ross Jaggers, and this is my redemption story. So I grew up in Louisiana, and I was born and raised there, um, and pretty much lived with my mom and dad and uh, my younger brother. Um, we didn't really go to church. We really want our church family, but my dad was Catholic. So occasionally we would go to uh, Catholic mass and Catholic services. And so my earliest memories of being a part of a church was really being a part of some Catholic services, but it really had no impact that I saw growing up um, on our family and really not on me at, at all. And so when we were, when I was about five, six years old, my family moved to Al Albuquerque, New Mexico. And um, we lived there for a couple of years. And then unfortunately my parents got a divorce and we moved back um, to Louisiana and we lived with my grandparents for a while. And my grandparents were awesome. Uh, my papa, my mama, um, they both loved the Lord and um, they really kind of encouraged us to get involved in church. My papa was a deacon in his church. Um, they would read their Bible um, in front of us. And, and so I, I kind of began to see maybe a different version of what it meant to be a follower of Christ, but still didn't have a whole lot of interest in it. Didn't really, it didn't impact my life in any way. Um, and so kind of just you know, grew up and, and was a, a normal kid growing, growing up in elementary school and getting into trouble and doing things that I wanted to do. And it wasn't until I was in the sixth grade that my mom said, hey, we're gonna start going to this Baptist church. Um, and I was like, no, mom, I'm like, I'm a sixth grader. I know everything about life. I don't need church. I don't wanna do that. I, I really did not wanna go. My mom was like, well, we're going. And so we went, um, began to go pretty regularly, began to, to just kind of go to, even go to Sunday school, not just go to church, but go to this, this, this thing called Sunday school where we studied the Bible and I studied with kids who were my age. Um, and, our, and at this church, Sunday school was divided up into guys, a guy's class and a girl's class. Well, one day I showed up for Sunday school and I was the only one in the class. And so it was just me and the teacher. And I'm like, great. Now I'm the one who has to answer all the questions. I'm the one who has to uh, think of all the, the, the things about the Bible and know what to say. And, and the teacher was like, you know what? Today we're not gonna do uh, this. We're not gonna do what I had planned. And, I, and, and my teacher's name was Marshall Graham. And I was thinking, great, Mr. Graham, this is awesome. I'll just leave and go hang out in the gym or do something else. And he was like, no, no, no. I wanna share with you what it means to be a follower of Christ. I wanna share with you my story. And he shared his testimony. He shared the gospel. He asked me if I understood it, and he, he made it very plain. He made the Bible something that, that for me for the first time made sense. And it really helped me see that I needed that. I needed to know, I, first I needed to know that Jesus, that God loved me, and that he sent Jesus to die on the cross for me, and that because he paid that payment, I could be saved and I could have life eternal, and not just life forever in heaven with him, but I could have life here on this earth. And so I realized as a sixth grader that I needed Christ. And so I gave my life to Christ then, then and there in a Sunday school class with Mr. Graham and um, was able to share that with him years later that, that that moment was when I accepted Christ. So I got really unplugged into the church. Um, I really was a part of the youth group. I was coming to all the different things. And then the summer after my freshman year, I was at a summer, a summer student camp and I knew that God was calling me to be in ministry, that God wanted me, a, wanted me to be a pastor. He wanted me to be involved in student ministry. And so I kind of committed my life right then and there. Okay, God, my life is yours. I now see that you, just as someone invested in me years ago, you want me to invest in students with my future life. And so I began to, to, to enter into that path and begin to think that way, formed college around that. And God's used me in an, an incredible way in, in my previous church, at, at the, actually my home church, Bromar Baptist Church, I got to, to be a youth pastor there. And now here at Redemption Hill, being able to serve and impact students and, and be able to preach and teach, um, God's really um, taken me from a place where I never thought, I wanted to be a doctor when I grew up. And God had different plans. God, God guided me in a different way. And He has redeemed not only my, my, my personal life, my individual life, my eternity, but he's, a, he's redeemed my purpose for my whole life. He's redeemed of um, everything about me. And so I'm so thankful for not only a mom who is faithful to serve God, but thankful for workers in the church who are faithful to, to, to know what, what a student needed um, when he was in the sixth grade, that he needed to hear the gospel.